Hey there, welcome to my video. This is Laura Lynn with Keep Inking Up. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! in San Antonio, Texas. And earlier this week, I shared on my social media how I made a bunch of these adorable little uh, party favors that look like graduation caps for a high school graduation. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a little bright there. Um, Anyway, I had some people ask me how I made these cute little tassels on these, so I thought I would share a video on how I made the tassels. So let me get those out of the way. So what I did is I used my 10 second bow maker. I bought this online, I think it's 10secondbowmaker.com. Um, it's been a while since I bought it, so I'm not, I can't remember, but I think that's what it is. But um, you use this to make cute little bows that are perfect every time, but I used it to make my tassels. So I put my little, um, uh, prongs in holes that are uh, one apart from each other and then I used some thread that I bought at the big box craft store. Let me pull off some of this thread here to get started. So what I did is I left a little bit of thread toward the top of the, the second prong there and then I wrapped six times. Four, five, six. Then I, oops, I used a little piece of washi tape to secure the two pieces together and then I trimmed off a piece. Now I'm going to take another piece of thread that's maybe four or five inches long and that's what I'm going to use to tie the tassel top together. So I threaded that through the middle and now I'm going to tie a knot oops, at the top of the piece. Now the thing is that with these tassels is it's a little bit clumsy with our fingers. But you just gotta do your best. Turn this to the side and I'm gonna secure these together with a knot. Okay. Now I'm going to, whoops, I'm gonna pull these pieces off of the prongs. I don't need this anymore. And actually I don't need the washi tape anymore because everything is all nice and secured now. That was just to help me to keep the threads kind of contained. Now I'm going to pinch below the knot that we created and I'm going to take my thread again. Let's pull off a little bit more here. I'm going to take a little tail to the top of the knot and I'm going to make a little loop to the bottom of the knot. See how that loop is there? Um, I want to make sure that I can differentiate between this loop and these loops. So I made it smaller. Then I'm going to pinch right below um, the knot of the tassel that we made and I'm going to wrap six times. Okay, then I'm going to put this down the table. I think it's easier. And I'm going to pull really tight and trim off a little piece. Maybe about I don't know, an inch and a half or two inches. Then hopefully I can show this well. I'm going to pull this piece tight and I'm going to thread the end of this piece that I just cut, if I can grab it. Oh yeah, yeah, I keep dropping it. I'm going to thread this piece through that little loop. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going to thread that through the loop. And I'm going to pull it. I'm going to slowly pull the other side so that the knot goes under that part that I wrapped. Can you see that? I'm going to pull really tight. So that knot is now underneath that wrap that we did the six times wrap around there. Now I can trim this off close to the top, as close to the tassel as you can so you don't see it. And then I can trim the big loops. And then I can use my fingernails to flatten it so I can get a nice flat edge and give it a little haircut. And that finishes my tassel. Isn't that easy? Super easy. It's a little bit clumsy with your fingers, but it's actually really easy to do. And then for the hat, let me bring in a sample again. For the hat, what I did is I cut out a square with a, temp uh, with a uh, die, and then I used a craft knife to cut a little slot in there, and I threaded through the knot, uh, through the slot, 
and then I put I placed a little glue dot there and I pressed the ends of the thread using my fingernail to really press it in there really good so, and then I trimmed off the extra so you're only going to be using you know like this part on for each one and so you'll be cutting off the knot that you created in there so I hope that makes sense and then it lands right there on the side of the, the square and then I just slid that over the top of the handles of the curvy keepsake die and I did go ahead and open the handles in order for the hat to stay attached so it would look like a little graduation cap so anyway I hopefully that helps you um, like I said I had several people ask me how I made the tassels they're not that difficult they're a little bit time-consuming they're a little bit clumsy with our fingers because it's really small um, but I think the key is to have the 10 second bow maker so I hope that this helps everyone creating their wonderful graduation projects. It's that time of year again. Congratulations to all of the graduates. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.